would show you um, the process of making this illustration for Hello Autumn Week. It is day five, I think, um, out of seven days. And I have this sketch that I started and I started mapping out the colors and things like that. Um, I haven't vlogged much. I kind of filmed a little bit that you saw um, of what I've been up to lately, which has just been a lot of commissions. So I've kind of closed those out for the most part for now. Um, I'm just taking a break to get these things done for Hello Autumn Week, but I'm also having it do double duty for my shop. So that it is just efficient and yeah, makes sense for me. So. Anyway, um, I thought you guys might want to see the process, so let me show you how it's been going so far. So this is my digital sketch, which the colors are showing up differently for you. It's a little bit warmer in real life, but anyway, I'm actually really liking how this looks um, like as a digital piece, but I do want to try to do it um, in watercolor um, and gouache on paper. So that's what I'm going to do today. I started off with just having like the sketch and then I added some gray tones and this kind of like golden undertone. And then I added in colors just so that I can know where I'm going to begin with. And I, I don't know, keep it somewhat reined in. So anyway, yeah, and you'll have to excuse the uh, sound. We have guys scraping our siding. <laughs> So I wanted to show you guys what I do when I, I have headphones and I'm listening to a book, but anyway, I wanted to show you guys what I do to get my illustrations on paper when I have sketched them on my iPad. I used to print them on the watercolor paper, but the ink sometimes would bleed with watercolor. So I go into my closet in the darkness and I turn my iPad on to the brightest setting and basically make it like a light box and I trace my drawing and then I go in and I do the details of the sketch after that. So here we go. So as you can see, this is like a really rough tracing of my sketch. So now what I need to do is go in and just like refine everything and get it basically to the point that this one is. And then I can start painting.
show you the finished piece um, of bunnies cooking as well as some other things I've been working on that I haven't filmed the process of that will be in my shop in my next shop update so yeah here they are so here are the bunnies I'm really happy with how this turned out as you can see it's pretty small I think this is like five by six maybe um, or six by seven but anyway I'm really happy with how it turned out I used um, watercolor gouache and pen for this one um, and then something kind of exciting this will be in my shop but I'm gonna be doing a giveaway of this print um, I've gained a lot of followers on my illustration account on Instagram and this particular painting um, was really popular when I posted it and so I decided to offer a print of it as a giveaway in my shop so um, not in my shop on my Instagram so make sure that you go follow me at Sammy Clark Art and check that out um, it should be posted by the time this video is up um, kind of interesting so to make that piece I painted Lucy and Rupert on watercolor paper by themselves um, for one, I just was nervous about doing a background with them because I didn't want to ruin them somehow by making the background bad. I'm just not that comfortable with backgrounds yet. Um, so that was one reason. And then another was I didn't know if I might just end up wanting them to just be on white paper. But I did this background separately. And so then you can see that I combined them for the finished piece and yeah I'm really happy with how that turned out it's gonna be on Christmas cards also in my shop um, another thing I've worked on is this bunny she's I don't know I think this is like 1820s clothing um, I kind of was inspired by the one of the costumes in the movie Bright Star and took inspiration from that she was one of my Patreon tier icons, like digitally, um, for about a year, and I just decided to do her in watercolor, and now she's over there, but um, this is also gonna be used for Christmas cards as well as prints in my shop. So, yeah, really exciting. Happy to have made some paintings recently. I decided to film because I just got my package of my hedgehog pin that I ordered from my friend Emma, Emma Carpenter Illustration is her channel. So I thought I would show you guys. So when you open it, look how cute. All packed up. I'm gonna angle it down a little bit more. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so cute, huh? Let me take it out of the bubble wrap and then we'll get it focused. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. It's so shiny. Oh, and look how cute it's jumping in the leaves. That turned out really, really cute. Oh. So Emma has, I think, six designs. You can go check her out. I'll link her um, shop down below too and her channel so you can see the little metal clasp. Oh, here he is on my sweater. Thank you so much, Emma. So happy that I got it today. Um, anyway, yeah, thank you. I was editing my video and then I got this, so I'm gonna just insert it. Um, but yeah, you guys should go check her out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I'm up to. Um, I'm Today I'm gonna be working on some tea towel designs for my shop. So there's going to be a lot of new things coming in the month of October. I have to order supplies and samples and stuff like that. But um, anyway, yeah, so make sure that you are subscribed so you can kind of keep tabs on things if you're interested. Um, also, my Instagram is linked below, Patreon. And if you like, I also have an email list where I send notifications about shop updates. So yeah, I'm going to link all those things below. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you're new and you found me through Hello Autumn Week, hello, welcome. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.